Hello everyone, I'm Brett Carver, OSU wheat breeder, Oklahoma State University wheat breeder, and I've been a practicing wheat breeder for about 25 years and a research geneticist for about 35 years. Glad you could join us. Well, I honestly believe wheat can be a, a definite part of the, uh, of the gut health discussion and high fiber. We, we have already demonstrated ways of, of improving fiber concentration in the wheat kernel. And, and just to mention a couple, beta-glucan that already exists in barley and oats, a very good source of soluble fiber. Uh, not highly present in wheat, but that, that level can be increased uh, through conventional breeding. So be on the lookout for that. Also, uh, probably a little bit more short-term uh, uh, goal would be to increase the level of resistant starch. Re resistant starch is, uh, is a form of dietary fiber. We already have resistant starch in the wheat kernel, but it's at a lower level than what we'd like to see uh, for health purposes. That looks like a very reasonable opportunity to raise that uh, resistant starch level. And then FODMAPs, already present in wheat, they have a prebiotic, a role to play in bacterial uh, support in our gut. Of course, some people are intolerant to FODMAPs. We have to be uh, in tune with that. But for those of us who are not intolerant uh, to FODMAPs, wheat has a very good role to play. Of course, fructans is the, the, the big part of FODMAPs in wheat. Um, high level of FODMAPs and, and wheat to help support bacterial growth in our gut. So I really think wheat can be right in the center of the gut health discussion. Uh, we shouldn't be sitting on the sidelines, and then we don't intend to be either.